And hello, folks. It's I, Kamikaze. I'm back. Took a few minute break. Got myself some chips and a soda. And I'm going to prepare myself for the investigation of the death of Sakura. <coughs> Pardon me. Did not mean to generate a burp. She's really dead? I heard Hina talking, but my eyes stared steadily forward. I could only look on at Sakura's dead body. Muttering to herself, Kyoko began to gently inspect Sakura's body. I wondered, was she confirming that Sakura was really dead? Checking for a pulse or reaction? Ah. There's only, what, three other people besides us? Hida wouldn't do it. Kyoko, I don't think would do it. So far, she seems to be against that. But... On shaky legs, Hina left the rec room. And I... Why? Why did this have to happen? That's all I could say. I repeated it over and over again. I... I just stood there motionless behind her while she checked Sakura's corpse. Time passed. While I stood there unable to do... A thing. Time just... passed. And after I don't know how long... What? She has a name, asshole. Mm, yes, yes! Ugh. I think we've been better off not having these idiots here. I see. As soon as they arrived, Kyoko began. Just a second. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Huh? It's your fault! Yeah. I won't forgive you. Ba bum, ba bum. <laughs> Thanks for the DBZ reference, stupid bear. Hold on. There's something I want to ask you. Huh? It was you, wasn't it? You killed Sakura. Say what? I didn't think about that. But no, there's no fight. She's just sitting. Sakura wanted to challenge the mastermind to a duel. Maybe you fought her again, and then... In other words... Hmm? Because she's dead. Phew. <laughs> we still would have liked to have seen the fight. Hey, um.
You weren't? Well done! Wait, really? So she could have possibly beaten Monokuma? What is this? <laughs> Shing! <laughs> Damn, bear. I will forgive you. <laughs> oh, shut up, Byakuya. I really wish you would have died. But since I played the second game, I can't wish any death upon anyone. How can you say that now? Anyway... Hmm. I trust Hina to do it. Hina? That's fine. Why? Hmm. Oh, that's fine. Okay, I agree to that. What? Hmm. What the hell? Why would she listen to orders from you? An order? That's fine. Wait. So you're gonna leave this all to me? Hmm. What? So wait, this is all up to me? Huh? It's your fault! I won't forgive you. Stop talking. I bet she could kick all of their asses, seriously. It's all clear now. What? What? Hmm. Yep. God, you and that master thing is gonna drive me nuts. Uh, um, it's all clear now. What are you saying? Calm down. <laughs> hey, correct. <laughs> Listen. Listen to me. Finding out who killed Sakura. It's not a matter of hoping we can do it. If we want to survive, we have to do it. It's kind of... Hopeless hope. We have no choice to just do it. Copyright. Well, I better check the Monokuma file before anything else. The body was discovered in the rec room on the third floor of the school. There's evidence of a strong blow to the victim's head. No other injuries were noted. However, it seems that at some point, the victim suffered from 
violent vomiting of blood. Hey. Why is that? So... Wait, how many entrances are there to this place? Is that our blood over there in this corner? So if the door was blocked from the inside and there's no way in or out till we broke the window, there's like zero escape, right? In other words... Locked room murder? I guess you might see this kind of thing a lot in mystery movies or books or whatever. But could it really happen in real life? And right before our eyes like this? Hey. Sh sure, if you don't mind. That's fine. So for that, all we'd have to do is check the door to see if that's what it was, right? Correct. How can you say correct? That was in my mind! In other words... However... Yeah, I think we can probably cross that one off the list. It's true. What do you mean by that? In other words... But no one did that! That sounds like it could have been possible, maybe. It's true. Not a locked room. In other words... Then you think we can cross that one off too? Indeed. So there are four possibilities. Then, Kyoko, which one of those four choices seems to be most likely in this case? It's true. I see. The way the killer set up the locked room. Until I figured that out, the truth behind Sakura's death will stay hidden. It's definitely a tough mystery. I need to concentrate and investigate as much as I can. For Sakura, if nothing else. Let me look at that door. Okay, so that's the door. That's where I broke in. That chair. Wait, these chairs aren't even tall enough. The store is the only way in or out of the rec room. But it doesn't have a lock, and there's no evidence that the mountings have been tampered with. The only notable change to the door is the smashed window. Which happened, of course, when I broke it to get inside. There's no evidence of any kind of string or mechanism was used on the door. In other words, I don't see anything suspicious about the door itself. The chair was shoved against the doorknob, so we couldn't get the door open. There's no evidence of any kind that the string or mechanism was used on the chair. In other words, there's no reason to think the chair had anything special done to it. Hmm. Having examined both the door and the chair, there's no doubt the reason the door didn't open was simply because the chair was shoved up against it. This kept the doorknob from turning and the door from opening. There's no evidence that the door or chair being tampered with or anything like that. So the killer must have created the locked room from the inside, not the outside. I see protein. 
some kind of plastic container rolling around the entrance of the room. So... Sakura must have drank it. Everyone knows how much she loved her protein. She was poisoned? No, it's at a blow to her head. And she mentioned more than once of how protein was good for all sorts of ailments. Wrong. I know. But still, this protein can. It's got a label on it that says Chem A2. That reminds me. Sakura mentioned how the chem lab had all kinds of health stuff. So she must have gotten this from the chem lab. Just a second. Huh? What is? Hey. It's on top of the glass? Strands of blue glass. Must be parts of the window I broke to get inside. Correct. Yeah, how are they underneath it? What does that matter? So... Important clue? I'm not sure I see how. Whatever. The fellow. Um, what's this? This looks like some kind of wrapper. Huh? Do you recognize it, Hina? Well... You gave her that candy? You gave that candy to Sakura? <laughs> kind of expected as much. You really liked them that much? Cause, I mean... Hina. That's one big piece of candy. How is this? There's shards of glass scattered all around the chair Sakura is sitting on. It's one of those alcohol bottles. The glass is all red and... These are the top and bottom sections of a bottle, right? This must have originally been a bottle. Huh? There's something else on the ground near the glass. It's a figure. Fits in the palm of my hand. It's a Monokuma figure. Well, isn't that part of these things? There are four red bottles lined up on the shelf. And inside each of the bottles, there's some kind of Monokuma figure. Oh, they're chess pieces. That's a curious question, but I don't care right now. So... Oh well, yeah. Maybe I have. In other words... It's like two bottles are missing. The Queen and the Knight. And I just picked up the night, I think. I feel like I'm starting to make sense of things little by little. The Monokuma bottle sitting on the shelf. The Monokuma figure we found on the ground. And the red shards of glass, which probably started out as a bottle. Which would mean Sakura must have been hit in the head with a Monokuma bottle, right? Shards of glass and the Monokuma figure are evidence of that. So I think it's safe to say that the Monokuma bottle was the weapon. There's a blood stain in front of the magazine shelf. Must have come from Sakura, right? But that doesn't make sense. Why is it so far away from where she died?
that, that, that really doesn't make any sense at all. What you do, like mix a protein shake of like the last shards and protein mix, and then vomit it up over there after it cut up her innards? I mean, seriously. How would so? I mean, because it's not like someone would have put it in the shake and then, because it says she died of blood vomiting. Huh? There's lockers open. The lockers open, and they're on the inside. A handprint. Why? Looks like someone touched the inside of the locker and left a handprint in all the dust. It's true. So why don't we compare people's hands to it? So then, maybe the killer hidden here until the locked room was opened. Don't you think? I, we would have noticed that. And during all the confusion, they popped out and joined the rest of the group. But that's not the case, because Hina had to go and get them. Wrong. Why not? Hey. Oh, yeah. And the locker was already opened at that point. Indeed. So then, what does this handprint mean? What is the handprints on? It looks like powder, dust, something. For an impeccably clean place. It's weird. Same shelf full of magazines. They're all different magazines in here. Sakura drew her last breath, sitting in a slumped forward in this chair. There's obvious evidence of the blow to the head Sakura suffered. Normally, I wouldn't have any problem believing that's what killed her. But according to the Monokuma file, she also vomited blood. And I can see trace blood on her lips for sure. So, what would have caused her to vomit blood? The Monofukuma file specifically said she hadn't suffered any other injuries. Maybe her getting hit on the head somehow caused her to start vomiting blood? Hmm. Byakuya? That's fine. Interesting? Naturally. No, I don't think you'd call it interesting, but it does make me wonder. The reason Sakura vomited blood absolutely has to be connected to why she died. But yeah, how did she get hit on the head? I mean, because someone would have had to have been in here, but if that door couldn't have been opened from the inside, I mean, I mean from the outside, because it was locked, I mean, there has to be a hidden passage somewhere. What? And the thing that says Chem A2. He's not even trying to hide how much he despises me. I better go before he crushes my soul completely. What the heck? I won't forgive you. That doesn't mean we know who did it. That gives us like a one in three chance. I mean, I'd love to agree with you, but... This doesn't make any sense. None of this makes any sense. And well, I don't want to say anything for sure without finding out more. What? What? Wait, by noon? The Monokuma file said she died right about then. That, that makes even less sense! Hina. 
It's impossible not to have regrets, I know. But the fact that she had asked those three to meet with her, then she asked them to come to the rec room at noon, the same time and place she ended up dying. It might be good to confirm what I just heard with the three of them directly. However... Yeah, she's not the type to go down without a fight. That's that's what I'm saying. It's like she's just sitting there. It's true. Did someone get the upper hand? What? They must have taken her by surprise, right? Certainly. But how did they lock the room after doing it? I need to examine the crime scene as much as possible. But what else do I need to examine? Got this. However, yeah, 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 we did this. Indeed. This thing move? No. It's around one o'clock right now. According to the Monokuma file, Sakura died around noon. It's so roughly an hour ago. Is that when Kyoko and I were moving Alter Ego? Hey. Certainly. Okay, what else do I need to do in here? What? There's something I'd like to talk to you about. <laughs> I mean to skip what I said. Is it true that Sakura asked you to meet her here in the rec room? <laughs> Why do you call that interesting? Then it's true. So you didn't go see her? Hmm. Jackie says he didn't go see her. Is that the truth? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as fact. Come on! Okay, thanks. Listen. Yeah? I think so, for the most part. So then... Listen to me. Yes, dear. She decided? She's gotten a lot more pushy since we had our issue. But she's right. I do have to go and talk to the others. Sakura wanted to meet with the two other people. I need to hear what they have to say. Day. Those other two people probably went back to their rooms. Oh, uh, we got Spike. And Toko. So press the doorbell. And after a few seconds... There. Ugh, the most negative aura I've ever felt. An aura of total decay. Well, what do you want? So you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. Don't even say her name. It makes me sick to my stomach. I was in such a good mood, too. She didn't look like she was in a good mood. Hey, I was... Hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? <laughs> Obviously annoyed, Toko slithered out into the hall. What do you want? 
I wanted to talk about the fact that Sakura had asked you to meet with to meet with you. Ooh, wow. Yaka already told me she had asked to meet with him. <laughs> Calm down. Yeah, pretty much. So can you tell me about it? <laughs> hmm. Togo claims she didn't go see her, but... Can I really believe her? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as fact. <laughs> okay, with that, Toko quickly retreated into her room. It's like the shortest investigation ever. What else am I supposed to do? I press the doorbell. And after a few seconds... You know... Yeah, actually, I just wanted to check something. It's about how Sakura wanted to meet with you. What? what? I am clairvoyant! Transparent! Could it be... Uh, um... Wait, what, so... Did Sakura tell you that? What? What? Uh, um... But didn't she write you a note? <sighs> How about that? I gotta be honest, this is super suspicious. So then, you went to meet with Sakura. You got it all wrong! Yeah, definitely suspicious. Actually... Just don't look at me! While I'm here, could you show me the note she gave you? Uh, um... Hero was feeling around in his pockets. Hey, come on! With a big goofy smile on his face, he pulled his hands back out of his pockets. But when he did, I saw something flutter to the ground. Something had fallen out of Hero's pocket. Huh? Huh? What? Quick as the wind, Hero snatched it back up again and shoved it back into his pocket. Hey, come on! My ass. Trash. What? What? Before waiting for a reply, Hero quickly slipped back in his room. Hero said it was just trash, but there's no way that's all there was to it. It's a candy wrapper! Okay, so I've heard from Toko and Hero. Hmm. What's next? I'll definitely have to look at that actual crime scene again, but on top of that, now we should find out about more about the protein can we found on the floor in the rec room. Sure must have come from the chem lab. So where should I start? Really, you're gonna make me run around? Uh to the chem lab. And then I'll work my way back down to the crime scene. Chem lab office. Ah, there it is.
Yeah, got it. <laughs> Up yours, sir, with a rusty cactus. What hell is this? This isn't my first time seeing this shelf, but I can't get over how big it is. Should probably take a closer look at it. it looks like their shelves have been connected together to make one giant shelf. But more importantly right now, what's this powder that's been filled in front of the shelf? I have to be careful not to step in it. There's a broken bottle in front of the shelf. Is this where the powder came from? Looks like a bottle labeled on it is Chem C4. Hmm. No. So in and other words, spilled. is that really when it happened? It must be related to the case somehow. So you mean like these feet prints right here? It's like one set of footprints. So. Wait, but. Hold on. So, they're labeled A, B, C, and what she had in her drink was A2. Stop making that stupid clicking sound every time I move the damn mouse. I'm trying to analyze everything before looking at it. So that had to have been Sakura's footprints because she got her A2 protein crap. Let's see what's on this shelf. All kinds of dietary supplements and different medicines protein drink we found in the rec room probably came from this shelf. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with the letter A and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of shelving unit A. Oh, wait. There's one bottle here labeled Chem C9. Could someone have put it here on accident? I mean, Sakura wouldn't be stupid enough to put poison in her drink. I mean, the only way is if she did it on purpose. So, wait, unless someone... Well, then they could have killed Hina, too. Because Hina uses the protein stuff. Back over here. On this shelf is... Uh, one look and I can tell it's nothing but dangerous chemicals. These look like poisons and other powerful chemicals. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with the letter C and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of shelving unit C. So on this shelf is... Looks like a bunch of chemicals that have no idea what they are. Hmm. Isn't this kind of harsh? What? That's fine. I didn't even say that. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Right now, I need to focus on the shelf. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with the letter B and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelving unit section B. Hmm, I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. In which case, I don't think I have to worry too much about this shelf. I should try and find out more about the shelving unit. Looks like it's split into three sections. Section A has dietary supplements, B, reagents, and C has lethal chemicals. Sakura must have gotten the protein powder from A. But what concerns me is that in Section A, there was a bottle with the label from Section C. That bottle... Was that a bottle... What was a bottle of poison from Section C doing in Section A? There's definitely something going on there. Hmm. 
I don't know. First, I have to check out this area. I have checked out the area. There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor. Better not leave a footprint. I've already checked these. What? What else do I need to check? Hmm. Yeah, 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 you said so this already. These are footprints? And they're only in front of the left shelf. Hmm. By we, do you mean me? Hmm. Ass. But that insufferable smirk, he handed me a piece of paper and a pen. What? Okay. So I got to work, and before long, I had drawn up a sketch of the room. <laughs> Look at my pretty drawing! So how's this? <laughs> For me? I see. I see. It's certainly possible. Why the hell would they be mine? No! What? Couldn't think of a reason not to, so I quietly did what Biakia said. Hmm. Too big? Those feet look huge! Unfortunately. Hmm. These prints really are a valuable clue. Should probably take a good hard look at that powder. There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor in front of the shelf. It's also the remains of a broken bottle. It looks like the bottle was labeled Chem C4. Also looks like someone left some footprints in the powder. We just covered this. Based on the positioning of the prints, whoever it was only went to the left side of the shelf. According to Byakuya, the powder would have had to have been spilled right around the time of the incident. That's all I can tell for now. Ah. <sighs> yeah, probably. Fortunately, at this point, I'm going to call the episode here. Please remember, if you're having fun, like, subscribe, comment, do all the fun things. I will catch you guys in the next episode of Dongan Rongpa. Oh...